Hey, what's up? So I'm starting a new series about the create a sync fun function from Redux Toolkit. Usually you will see people use this for fetching data from an API and we will be doing that. And I will show you a realistic example. We will cover everything from this documentation. And this example that we will start from is located here. So this is the repo for this example if you want to code with me. It's called in depth create async fun. I will put a link in the description. So basically, just clone it and check out to the start point branch and hit npm install, then npm run start, and you'll be good to go. The main branch is where the final code from this playlist will reside. So if you are starting, just go to start point, npm install, npm run start, and that's it. When you do that, as you can see, like I did here you will face this app. So this is the realistic example. You will have Redux, you will have this side nav, and you have this main content area. Whenever you click on a tab, you should display that data for this tab. So this is now the dashboard, should, or the data for the dashboard should be displayed here. Now this is a user's list, this is a report, this is the bug request. So I think this is a realistic example. Or at least in some way or another, you will do something similar to this. And as you can see, we have a predefined action. It's located here, as you can see, in the slice. So it's the change selected tab. It will just change the current selected tab. So when we do this, we will dispatch an action at some point to fetch some data and stuff like that. So this is, this is it. This is the starting point. Now, before we continue, we should define, I think everything here makes sense, the create async, but the only thing that does, is weird is the thunk. So async stands for asynchronous, and you know there is synchronous code and asynchronous code. Synchronous code will execute line by line on the same thread that executes your code. So when you run your code, there is a single thread will run it line by line. It's synchronous code, but asynchronous code will run on a different thread, okay, or on a different process. So this is what async uh, mean, or this is how you can think about it in very simple terms. But thunk. Func comes from functional programming. It basically means when you have a function that returns another function. And if you think about it in JavaScript, we call these high order function. So you can think about Func as a way to call a specific function. So let me just be more uh, specific. Let me open the console here. So I will start by giving you an example. So we have this function called fun. It will return anonymous function without name that will alert. So, I think I made something bad. Yeah, sorry, like this. So, when we call this, it will return the function inside of it. Now, when we return, when we call the function that have been returned like this, it will alert. So this is just a function, but to be specific, we call it high order function because it retained another function. So this is a way to like name specific things to be precise. And as the, the same thing, if you define another function, let's say function fun02, and it accepts a function called fun and just execute it. And let's give it a function that will alert to. As you can see, it will go and execute that. This is also a high order function. So a high order function, it will accept a function or retain a function. But at the end, it's still just a function. So thunk is a little bit similar. It's still just a function, but it will retain another function and that function will delay something. So when you have something similar to this, you will call it a thunk. And I will put a link in the description in two very good two articles. This is one of them, and this is, I think, it's the best one. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for it. So basically, here is an example where you can call this code a thunk, or this function a thunk. You have a function here, a high order function. Why? Because it retains another function. Okay, we are now here being specific. So it's just a function, but we will call it high order because it retains some, another function. And that function, as you can see, when you execute it, it will delay executing this function, the logger function. And this is why we call it a thunk, because it will delay executing something from the retained function. 
that's it. That's that's it. I th don't think you need to go any deeper than that. Uh, yeah. So that's basically it. And you might say, how does why does that exist here? Because if you think about it, uh, in our Redux, when we dispatch an async func, we will go and do something, maybe fetch some data. But after that request have been returned, so after some time, we don't know how much that time will be, we will dispatch another action that does something with the data that have been returned. So if you think about it, we are delaying the actual action that will be that we will dispatch to store the data. So there is some delay in the actual action we care about. So I think that's why they call it func. It's just delaying the actual action we care we care about. So I think that's how we should think about it or at least that's maybe the simplest way to think about it just so to recap a func is just a high order function that returns another function and that function delays something in javascript this could be using sit timeout or i think promises promises is a way to delay some stuff right we will go execute it the event loop will take it execute it in a subroutine or a sub process when that returns after some time, with it, in the promises, which means it has been resolved, we will go and execute another thing, a thunk. So I think I think that's maybe the most simple way I can put it. I hope that uh, was clear. So with that out of the way, we will start in the next video, setting up a simple API using a tool, a very simple tool, so we can work on to fetch some data. And maybe we will, of course, handle stuff like uh, errors, success, canceling request whenever you had like these if you click if you keep clicking on these tabs I mean, I don't care if I clicked here then go fast and click these three then return to the user I don't care about the requests have been uh, dispatched from if each click here, right? I only care about the users. So we'll see how we can cancel stuff and stuff like that and uh, Yeah, I hope this was useful and bye